what? I am very cold today, okay? You see, I'm bundled up. It's winter time, guys. It's winter time. So guess what time it is? Chili time, guys, chili. So today I'm gonna share a chili recipe with you with fried dumplings, guys. Fried dumplings. I grew up eating this recipe, it is delicious, all right? And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that bell button right here guys right here and if you like what you see press the like button and also the bell button which is going to let you know as soon as i upload a video which is every friday and sunday and most important guys most important share this recipe with others share this joy with others the same way i'm sharing it with you so, from my kitchen to your kitchen, where everything's done with love, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step of doing our chili, I use beans from the bag. So I soak my small red beans overnight, which it helps those gases of the beans to be released and also soften. And as you could see, they have plumped up, so now we are going to go ahead and boil them. Here, I already had cooked them for an hour and a half. All I added to the water was a little bit of salt and some oil. And now they are ready to start cooking our chili. See, beautiful. So these are some of the ingredients we will be using today for our chili. Okay. We have our tomato paste. We have crushed tomato. We have coffee liqueur, in this case, Kahlua. We have a stock beer, but you could use any beer you like. I also have um, chili powder here. I have spicy chili powder. I have red crushed pepper flakes, oregano, brown sugar, which you can use a little bit, adobo, onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, and for our fresh ingredients, I have two jalapeno half a bell pepper, half a onion, and about half a head of fresh garlic. We have a um, flour, or purpose flour, that's for the dumplings. And I have ground beef and two spicy Italian sausage. You could use whichever meat you prefer to use on your chili. Okay. So we're about to get started and we're going to start first with making our dumpling dough. I usually don't measure it guys, but I'm going to do it for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and measure two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and I also have boiled some water. Make sure your water is hot. I add a little bit of oil, garlic powder, and salt to this water. That's all it is inside that water. But make sure your water is hot and you boil enough water where you do not run out of hot water. And you're going to start mixing it. I like using my rubber spatula, which she allows me to scrape that bowl. And you are going to continue to add a little bit of water at a time. A little bit of water at a time, guys. And stir it. So at this point, oh, I need just a little bit more. And as you can see, this is the end product. This is what you want to end up with. 
Here I added a little bit of water to my meat where I'm going to go ahead and add at least two tablespoons of the Kahlua because I want that meat to suck in all that flavor. And just continue to break down that meat. So here I have broken it up and only has the Kahlua and it smells great. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start adding my powder ingredients. Garlic powder. Cumin. You just add as much as you want of each powder is all your preference some onion powder some adobo also you could use whichever brand you want of the adobo I'm gonna add some beef bouillon I'm going to go ahead and add the whole package. And just stir everything so everything could blend and marinate. So here, I am about to start. Everything I marinated, I added some oregano. Now my onions, my bell pepper, and jalapeno, and making sure I'm blending everything in. Let it marinate. Look at how beautiful that is. And the aromas, guys, is wonderful. I keep stirring it. Now I'm adding that fresh garlic, some paprika, Um, the chili powder and the spicy chili powder. I added one um, tablespoon of each. One tablespoon of the brown sugar and liquid smoke. I added some liquid smoke, guys. Look how beautiful that meat is looking. Now I'm coming in and I'm adding some tomato paste. That's like two tablespoons of the tomato paste. And I'm going to stir it to help break it down. Guys, the aroma in this kitchen was wonderful. Wonderful. Especially when it's cold outside. Man, and you know you're cooking something great. The aroma is, woof, it is so good. Look how pretty this meat is coming along. You could just eat it like that, almost like a sloppy joe <laughs> with a piece of bread, right? So you're going to make sure that all your ingredients are blend in evenly and let it simmer. Now we are about to add the beans. I'm not going to add all those beans to it I'm just gonna save half of them for another dish you could freeze your beans guys after you cook them you could freeze it and when you are ready to cook some beans you have already some beans ready for your next dish okay here I'm adding also some of the liquid of the beans because you know we want all those flavors and it's great, guys, when you cook it from packs because, you know, you're able to get rid of those gases that the beans releases. That's why it's good to soak them overnight and all those gases releasing that water and you rinse them out. So here I am stirring again, making sure that all my ingredients are blending together really good. Look at those colors. So I almost forgot. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and add half a can of my crushed tomatoes. I'm removing my towels so they don't get dirty. But again, I stir it. I wanna make sure that all the ingredients are blend evenly. Look at how beautiful that's looking. And again, I can't stress enough about the smell, the aromas, like, I mean, it's it's just wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer for at least a half an hour. Oh, I almost forgot to add the red crushed peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in the top. You could add as much heat as you want or if you don't want it, you could leave it out. It's up to you guys, your preference. So in my house, I added three pinch of the red crushed pepper and it has the spicy chili pepper, uh, powder and it also has the jalapeno, so it has some heat. But again, you adjust it to what you want it for your family, guys. There's no right and wrong. So now I'm definitely going to let it simmer for at least 30 minutes. Here it has simmer. Look at how beautiful, guys. Look at this chili. Oh, man. Look at how pretty that is. Look at that. I, I, oh, it is so good. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and taste it. And I'm going to taste to see if I feel it need any type of seasoning to my liking. So I decided that at this point, I'm going to add a half, another half an envelope of the beef bouillon. You could add chicken bouillon too, or even pork bouillon. It's up to you. Get creative. Make it your own. So again, every time I add seasoning, I like to stir it to make sure it's evenly cooked in all sides of that pan. That's why I like using white pans so I could able, so I could be able to stir. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more garlic powder. I love me some garlic, guys. Love me some garlic. And I'm going to add a little bit more cumin. Staring, staring, staring. And now, the last but not least, our beer, guys. Our beer. You choose whichever beer you like. But look at the magic when I pour it. Look how pretty. Ooh, look at that. And I, when I tell you those are explosion of flavors, those are explosion of flavors. And you know the aroma is more intense now. <laughs> And guys, the alcohol contents, it, it dies with the heat, okay? you just left with flavors, okay? Just a bunch of flavors. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let this continue to cook for another 20 minutes. And we are going to start on frying our dumplings. So here, I am massaging my dough. A bowl at a time. At this point, the dough is going to be a little sticky. It's okay. Just continue to massage it. And now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle flour on both sides. Okay. And you roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Trust me, this, this dumplings, I've been eating these since I was little. 
it's tender in the inside and crispy in the outside. And this, you see, I'm using a regular cup to just cut it this out. I usually use a cookie cutter, but I just want to show you that if you don't have cookie cutters, that's fine. You could use a cup. And what I do, all the little scraps, I put them to the side, okay, and let them rest. And I'm going to continue and continue. And at the end, I wrapped up all those scraps together, and those are going to be the last ones. And here we are. Now we're going to the oil, which I had it heating up on medium. Not high, medium. These, they cook pretty quickly. And here I try to show you, I mean, in a matter of 30 seconds, they already like rise up to the top. And when it does that, you start turning them. And you keep turning them like every 30 seconds. So you don't walk away on these guys. Because like I said, they cook very, very quickly. Every 30 seconds, you turn them. And, I, and until it gets to the little, you see how crispy they looking? This is our beautiful dumplings, guys. Our final product. And this is the chili. Look how beautiful it's looking. Well, enjoy, guys, and have a great day.